Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Mary, Crown Princess of Denmark. Mary, Crown Princess of Denmark, Countess of Montbazat, is the wife of Frederick, Crown Prince of Denmark. Frederick is the heir apparent to the throne, which means that should Frederick succeed, she will automatically become Queen of Denmark. The couple met at the Slip Inn, a pub in Sydney when the prince was visiting Australia during the 2000 Summer Olympics. Their official engagement in 2003, and their marriage the following year was the subject of extensive attention from Australian and European news media, which portrayed the marriage as a modern, fairy tale, romance between a prince and a commoner. Early Life Mary Elizabeth Donaldson was born the youngest of four children to Scottish parents, Henrietta, an executive assistant, to the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Tasmania, and John Dalgleish Donaldson, a mathematics professor. Her paternal grandfather was Captain Peter Donaldson. She was named after her grandmothers, Mary Dalgleish and Elizabeth Gibson Melrose, and was born and raised in Hobart, Australia. During her childhood, she was involved in sports and other extracurricular activities both at school and elsewhere. She studied music playing piano, flute, and clarinet and played basketball and hockey. Her mother died on 20 November 1997. In 2001, her father married the British author and novelist Susan Howard. Education In 1974, Donaldson started schooling in Clear Lake City Elementary School in Houston, Texas and moved to Sandy Bay, Tasmania from 1975 to 1977. Her primary education, from 1978 to 1977, 83, was at Wermeyer Heights with her secondary schooling being at Aruna High School, and matriculation, at Hobart College. She studied at the University of Tasmania from 1990 to 1994, graduating with a combined Bachelor of Commerce, and Bachelor of Laws degree on 27 May 1995. Between 1994 and 1996, she attended a graduate program and qualified with certificates in advertising from the Advertising Federation of Australia and Direct Marketing from the Australian Direct Marketing Association. Her native language is English, and she studied French during her secondary education. In 2002, she briefly worked as an English tutor in Paris. After meeting Frederick at the Slip-In during the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney, Donaldson studied Danish as a foreign language, at Studieskolen in Copenhagen in 2003. Career she worked for Australian and global advertising agencies after graduating in 1995. Upon graduation she moved to Melbourne to work in advertising. She became a trainee in marketing and communications with the Melbourne office of DDB Needham, taking a position of account executive. In 1996, she was employed by Mojo Partners as an account manager. In 1998, six months after her mother's death, she resigned and travelled to America and Europe. In Edinburgh, she worked for three months as an account manager with Rap Collins Worldwide. Then, in early 1999, she was appointed as an account director with the international advertising agency Young & Rubicom in Sydney. In June 2000, she moved to a smaller Australian agency, Love Branding, working for a short time as the company's first account director. However, in the spring of 2000 until December 2001, she became sales director and a member of the management team of Bell Property, a real estate firm specializing in luxury property. In the first half of 2002 Donaldson taught English at a business school in Paris but, on moving to Denmark permanently, she was employed by Microsoft Business Solutions near Copenhagen as a project consultant for business development, communications and marketing. Courtship and Engagement Donaldson met Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark at the Slip-In during the 2000 Summer Olympics on 16 September in Sydney. He was not identified by her friends as the Crown Prince of Denmark until after they met. They conducted a long-distance relationship by phone, email and letter. And Frederick made a number of discreet visits to Australia. On 15 November 2001 the Danish weekly magazine Bild Bladet named Mary as Frederick's girlfriend. She then moved from Australia to Denmark in December 2001, 
while she was working as an English tutor in Paris. On 24 September 2003 the Danish court announced that Queen Margrethe II intended to give her consent to the marriage, at the State Council meeting scheduled for 8 October 2003. Frederick presented her with an engagement ring featuring an emerald cut diamond, and two emerald cut ruby baguettes, which are similar to the color of Denmark's flag. The couple became officially engaged on 8 October 2003. Marriage and Children Donaldson and Crown Prince Frederick married on 14 May 2004 in Copenhagen Cathedral, in Copenhagen. She wore a wedding gown designed by Danish designer Ufa Frank and had a small bridal party which included her two sisters and her friend Amber Petty, a radio announcer on commercial radio in Australia. Frederick was supported by his brother Prince Joachim. Three of her nieces, Erin and Kate Stevens and Madison Woods, were flower girls. Frederick's nephew Prince Nikolai of Denmark and first cousin once removed, Count Richard von Feil und Klein Elgth were pageboys. The wedding was celebrated in Copenhagen and at Friedensborg Palace. The couple reportedly spent their honeymoon in Africa. The couple have four children. The Danish Folketing passed a special law giving Donaldson Danish citizenship upon her marriage. A standard procedure for new foreign members of the royal family. She was previously a dual citizen of Australia and the United Kingdom. Formerly a Presbyterian, she converted to the Eva. Evangelical Lutheran Church of Denmark upon marriage. The Crown Princess and her family currently resided Frederick Vajai's Palace, one of the four palaces that make up the Amalienborg Palace complex. From May 2004 they have also resided at the Chancellery House, a building in the park at Friedensborg Palace. Public life Following the wedding, the couple embarked upon a summer working tour of mainland Denmark aboard the royal yacht Danabrog and then to Greenland, and later the 2004 Athens Olympics. In 2005, during the celebrations for the 200th anniversary of Hans Christian Andersen, the royal family was involved in related events throughout the year. Frederick and Mary marked the anniversary in London, New York and in Australia, where she was made honorary Hans Christian Andersen ambassador to Australia in the Utsan room of the Sydney Opera House. In 2005 the royal family visited the Faroe Islands. Since becoming Crown Princess of Denmark, she has made a number of international visits, and Frederick and Mary participated in the reburial ceremonies for Empress Maria Fyodorovna in Denmark and St. Petersburg. In November 2009, Mary made a surprise visit to Danish soldiers in Helmand province, Afghanistan. One of the Crown Princess stops was Fob Armadillo. In the context of immigrant issues in Denmark, Mary has visited the disadvantaged migrant areas of Volsmos, Jelrup, and Vibug, and has participated in integration projects and to teach the Danish language to refugees. As patron of the Danish Refugee Council, Mary visited Uganda and East Africa and supports fundraising for the region. Mary has played an active role in promoting an anti-bullying program based on an Australian model through the auspices of Denmark's Save Their Children. Mary is also involved in a new campaign to raise awareness and safe practices among Danes about skin cancer through the Danish Cancer Society. In September 2007 Mary formally established the Mary Foundation with capital from public and private donations, to advance cultural diversity and encourage a sense of the right to belong and contribute to society. For those who are socially isolated or excluded, Mary was voted Woman of the Year 2008 by a Danish magazine, Altva Damern. The princess donated her cash reward to charity. She was interviewed by Parade magazine and television programs of Andrew Denton and USA Today. As a native English speaker, Mary's main priority from the time of her engagement was to become fluent in the Danish language. Mary has acknowledged that this was a challenge for her in several interviews at the time of her engagement and marriage. When Frederick ascends the throne, Mary will be the first Australian-born woman to be a queen consort. Fashion Mary is an active patron of Denmark's third highest earning export industry, the fashion industry and is patron of the Copenhagen Fashion Summit. She has been named one of the world's most fashionable people in Vanity Fair's annual international best dressed list and has posed and given interviews for magazines including Vogue Australia, Dansk, German Vogue, 
Mary also posed for other magazines during her life as a royal, such as Women's Weekly Australia magazine and Parade magazine. Her elegance was praised by designer Tommy Hilfiger. Patronages Since 2004 Crown Princess Mary has steadily worked to establish her relationships with various organizations, their issues, missions, programs, and staff. Mary's patronages range across areas of culture, the fashion industry, humanitarian aid, support for research and science, social, and health patronages and sport. The organizations for which she is patron have reported positive outcomes through their relationship with Mary. And there are various reports in the Danish media and on some of the websites of the organizations themselves about Mary being quite involved in her working relationship with them. Mary is currently involved in supporting anti-obesity programs through the World Health Organization, Regional Office for Europe. Mary's current patronages include cultural organizations, the Danish fashion industry humanitarian aid, research and science, social, health, and humanitarian organizations and sporting organizations. Crown Princess Mary is also an honorary life governor of the Victor Chan Cardiac Research Institute based at the Garvin Institute slash St. Vincent's Hospital, Sydney, a member of the International Committee of Women Leaders for Mental Health, and a member of various sporting clubs. In June 2010, it was announced that Crown Princess Mary has become patron of UNFPA, the United Nations Population Fund, to support the agency's work to promote maternal health and safer motherhood in more than 150 developing nations. Mary lends her support to a number of other one-off Danish causes, industry events and international conferences. In 2011, the Westmead Cancer Centre at Westmead Hospital in Sydney was renamed the Crown Princess Mary Cancer Care Centre to Westmead. Mary Foundation On the 11th of September 2007 Crown Princess Mary announced the establishment of the Mary Foundation at the inaugural meeting at Amalienborg Palace. The initial funds of 1.1 million Danish kronid were collected in Denmark and Greenland and donated to Frederick and Mary as a wedding gift in 2004. Crown Princess Mary is the chairwoman of eight trustees. The Mary Foundation aims to improve lives compromised by environment heredity, illness, or other circumstances which can isolate or exclude people socially. In 2014, Mary received a Bambi Award for her work with the Foundation. LGBT Rights In 2016, on the International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia, the Crown Princess gave a speech on LGBT rights at a forum in Copenhagen hosted by the Danish government. She called for an end to discrimination, oppression, and violence against people, because of their sexual orientation and gender identity. Titles and Styles Mary has been Crown Princess of Denmark since her marriage and also Countess of Montpezat by marriage since 29 April 2008, when Queen Margrethe II granted the title to her male line descendants. She also holds the rank of First Lieutenant in the Home Guard. Arms with the marriage in 2004, the Crown Princess Mary was honored with the Order of the Elephant, and her father John Dalglish Donaldson, with the Order of the Danabrog. In accordance with the statutes of the Danish Royal Orders, both the Crown Princess and her father were granted a personal coat of arms, this for display in the Chapel of the Royal Orders at Frederiksborg Castle. The main field of the Crown Princess coat of arms is or tinctured and shows a gules MacDonald eagle and a sable tinctured boat both symbolizing her Scottish ancestry. The chief field is azure tinctured and shows two gold Commonwealth stars from the coat of arms of Australia and a gold rose in between depicted as her personal symbol. Above the shield is placed the heraldic crown of a crown prince of Denmark. The coat of arms of her father is almost identical to that of the crown princess, but a gold infinity symbol is depicted, instead of the gold rose. Above his shield is instead placed a barred helmet topped with a gules rampant lion, which is turned outward. The lion is derived from the Scottish coat of arms and also from the arms of Tasmania and Hobart. Both coats are of arms were approved in 2006, and placed in the Chapel of the Royal Orders in 2007. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?